Hey guys, it's Andy from AJW Fitness. Um, today in this video, we're going to talk about my why I changed from a carnivore diet to a keto diet. Intrigued? Stay tuned. <laughs> So for the past two weeks I was doing a um, carnivore diet and I know two weeks probably isn't enough time to gauge but I really didn't feel um, that healthy in, what, in the fats. Maybe I, maybe I was taking too many fats but uh, if you try carnivore, uh, like they say, it, it isn't for everyone so it's, it's up to that person and I feel like carnivore wasn't particularly working. Um, for me. Some of the stuff like the mental clarity and the extra energy, I did feel that um, but I was really unhappy with the amount of fat that I was taking and um, my uh, body fat percentage uh, was going up and this whole time I've been really trying hard to get it back down again. So, um, so I was doing a similar sort of thing now but I've switched to keto. I'm also fasting in the mornings. So I'll wake up around 6, 7 a.m., have a black coffee, uh, maybe a bottle of water, and then I'll go for a um, 45-minute to an hour run. Uh, I'll get back, just, just cool off, play some Xbox, <laughs> do a YouTube video, uh, then I'll do um, a HIIT workout. Uh, I'm not going to show you any more um, home workouts because there's enough of that on the uh, on the internet and um, YouTube with your hits and your um, yeah your running and whatnot. Um, I mean, personally, like I do, you know, I do I do a hit class in the afternoon. I go running in the mornings. Um, if you if you live in a house, um, I mean, I've done this. I've done um, up and down the stairs for half an hour. I think I think I clocked uh, two kilometers doing that. And after about seven minutes, I had a proper sweat on so that's a good way to burn calories so I was lucky enough to get a uh, ninja foodie um, from Argos and that'll come uh, next week so we'll do like I'll do like an unboxing and then we'll go through some of the, the cool stuff that that can do so that's just gonna replace like um, uh, slow cooker pressure cooker air fryer I think I've got a rice cooker somewhere as well. So it's just gonna replace all of those things just into one. And it can dehydrate stuff. So I'm quite looking forward to making my own beef jerky. So some of the, some of the recipes on keto, I'm gonna go through that with you. So um, this afternoon, I'm gonna be doing um, uh, cauliflower salad. So we can do that together. And then um, uh, weigh all the ingredients out and go on to my fitness pal so I can work out all the macros and proteins, carbohydrates, fats, etc. So we can work out what we're eating. So this is gonna be a cauliflower salad. So I've already chopped off the leaves and I'm just gonna dice this up into small bits. So we're also going to um, put some chopped onion in it, <clears throat> some celery and some spring onion and also a little bit of gherkins, okay? So just chop all this up and then of course when we're done chopping it up, uh, weigh it all out and then if you go on to uh, MyFitnessPal, you can actually create uh, recipes and then uh, put all the ingredients together once it's weighed out and then work out what, um, what your macros are for your dish and then when you portion out a portion you'll know exactly what you're eating so I'm just going to chop all this up now and we're just going to lightly boil off um, this cauliflower for five to ten minutes just so it goes a little bit soft all right, so put that in there. <laughs> Tablespoon of Heinz Real, Real Mayonnaise. A 
can do two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. So I'm going to cling film that, put it in the fridge for later. Uh, it came up as um, three servings in total, so 225 grams per serving with 102 calories, 4.8 grams of fat, 11.6 grams of carbohydrates and 4.8 grams of protein. Keto cauliflower salad I made earlier, some chicken breast and some spinach cooked in goat's butter. Um, um, the carbs for this is 13.8 grams of carbs, 18.8 grams of fat and 61.8 grams of protein. If enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button for me and share also. Um, you could hit subscribe if you like, hit the little bell so every time a new video comes out you get a notification. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our key workers and hard working NHS staff. Thanks guys.